Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you guys how to properly export your videos out of Final Cut Pro and upload them to YouTube. You want to make sure you do this correctly because if you don't, your files can end up being like 25 gigabytes, way too big to upload it on YouTube or it won't be compressed right because YouTube does its own kind of compression. So if you don't export it correctly, it's going to have a really weird compression and the video isn't going to look really good at all. So let's go ahead and minus out of Final Cut Pro. Let's say you just recorded a video on your camera. You put the SD card into your camera. You have the video, you put it into your file, its folder. Let's say this YouTube folder. Open up Final Cut Pro. You've imported your clips into it. You've edited it. You put it all on the timeline. You can see here's an example of something. So it's all on the timeline. Everything is all done. Everything is all edited. Now, you want to go ahead and actually be able to export your clip. So let's say I want to, this video, is, like I said, it's all done. Now I want to go ahead and actually be able to export this correctly. This is a way more important step than you think. With a more advanced program, there's different settings for exporting. If you don't do it correctly, you're really going to screw up. So you see, when I go over here, see this little, I don't know, like rect, uh, square with an arrow here. You want to go ahead and press this little icon right here. Now, as you can see, there's a, I'll talk about that this thing in a later video. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different options. Now, you can go ahead and just export this directly to Facebook. Export this directly to uh, your YouTube uh, YouTube channel. And it just, it just all depends on where you actually want to go ahead and export this. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click Add Destination. Now, let's see, as you can see, you can see a whole bunch of different things right here, a whole bunch of different places to go ahead and export it. Now, if the export file, your master file, it doesn't show up here and it shows up somewhere here, all you gotta do is, as you can see, click here and just drag it into here. That just makes things a lot faster. That's how you add different destinations. So what you wanna do, go up here, click on this master file, go to the master file, you can go ahead and name this whatever you want. YouTube. Let's just name it YouTube Video Test. So there you, can, you can title it whatever you want. You want to make sure that the resolution is right. This is a 1080p clip. The frame rate is right. You want to make sure everything is right down here. Make sure it's not like 25 gigabytes long. So you're just going to make sure you don't, you don't wanna, you're not going to be able to uh, upload a 25 gigabyte video on YouTube. That's gonna take like 15 minutes. What you want to do, or actually a lot longer than that. So what you want to do is you want to go over to settings. So after you have the title in, go over to settings. This is the most important part. What you want to do is you want to make sure your export setting is H.264. This is the correct export setting. You mean you want to make sure that you've audio and video, depending on. It all depends on what you want. I mean, most cases you want to export the audio and the video, but if for some reason you don't, it's all up to you. But as you can see, this is what the export screen looks like. As you can see, you can go through and watch the video, make sure it's all good. The resolution, the frame rate, everything. Most importantly, make sure it's on H.264. That is how you correctly export your video. All you gotta do is just click on next. Once, and then this, there's, you can see, this little circle right here will keep loading until it's completely exported and it will just pop up on the screen. You can go ahead from there, put it in a folder, put it in different locations, wherever you want it, and then you can upload it to YouTube. That's a simplified version of how to properly export the video to YouTube. Now it's different, it all depends on where you're trying to export it to, but for YouTube, you want to make sure, again, go to master file, go over to settings, and make sure it's an H.264. Anyways guys, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this video somewhat helpful and somewhat informative. Hopefully you learned a lot. And if there are still topics that you want to learn a lot more about, highly encourage you to go ahead and go down in the comment section below and I can try to answer some of your questions. Before you go ahead and leave the video, make sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm giving away this Google Home Mini for free once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.